Hey, welcome on YouTube. <laughs> Episode 5 bus on Friday night at 9 o'clock early. Maybe some people are looking to watch it tonight, but it actually aired on Friday night. So let's get into it. Kick off this episode and chaos has erupted all over Kansas, they're in the, the city that they're in. Uh, and we kind of cut to Sam and Henry, uh, the two brothers that we, uh, that Joel and, and Ellie, our protagonists, encountered last, uh, last episode at the very end. And um, it's here. Uh, I'm going to point out every time I notice some kind of deviation from the game story. Right here, we notice that Sam is, they, they've decided to make, in the show, they decided to make Sam, the younger brother, deaf. Enter Kathleen. We cut to Kathleen. And <laughs> I wasn't sure at this point if it was like a flashback or something, uh, or if they were in the present time. But she's still looking for Henry. And I'm just like, oh my god, get over it. Give me a break. Like, alright, I get it. I get it. I honest, Honestly, I do like the fact that they changed from the game, that they now have these, instead of nameless NPCs that Joel is just massacring throughout the game, it's actually people with names and backstories. Henry and Sam, um, they're in this room in some kind of um, attic or something, like which is literally right over the group of hunters and they can see everything that's going on. Um, they're, it seems like they've run out of food and Henry's like, yo, dude, I'm, uh, Sam actually to his older brother Henry is like, yo, I'm hungry. And he's, um, so they, they kind of, they start venturing out um, to, to find some more food. Um, and it's here that we see um, Henry kind of peeking out a window and he sees, we get to see this cool perspective of uh, the fight between Joel and the hunters from the last episode when, uh, when they, when Joel crashed into the, into the store and, and Brian, <laughs> Brian uh, gets himself killed. Thankfully, they spared us from his throes of death as he's begging for mercy. I really don't think I w it wasn't necessary to show it again, and I'm thankful they did not show that again. They're making their way through um, this town, and immediately, players from the game will recognize this as like a sniper alley. And somebody, it's nighttime, and they're walking down this road, which immediately, immediately I'm thinking, why would you be walking out in the open? Shouldn't you be like cutting through houses or cutting through back alleys? You're just walking on a main road in, in this neighborhood? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense in a zombie apocalypse. It doesn't make a lot, whole lot of sense for Joel to be doing, of all people. So anyways, sniper starts shooting at him, and uh, you know it kind of plays out just like the game. Joel kind of sneaks around back, and he comes up behind this, this sniper, this old dude, and he uh, gets the better of him, takes him out. And in the game, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the original game. Part, uh, last of Us Part 1. You you get a hold of the sniper and you, and you have to protect Henry, Sam, and Ellie as they're, you know, because they were previously under sniper sniper rifle fire. So now you're trying to protect them. Um, well, not me, but Joel in the show. Um, and I wish they had kind of played on this some more because I think that was a, a cool aspect of it. But anyways, they, they kind of... It's here we, we hear the radio go off um, for the, the sniper. There's a CB radio or walkie-talkie that goes off. And we hear Kathleen on the radio. Holy shit. It's one of Kathleen's men and... Kathleen is on the way with her people. We get to a point where, you know, Joel can't, Joel can't really protect them because they, they've kind of cornered Henry, Ellie, and, uh, and Sam, and they're behind a car, and they got this scene where, where Kathleen is talking to them. And Kathleen is supposed to be saying some menacing things here. She, like, the words coming out of her mouth are it's some wicked shit. She's talking about killing kids, and I'm just... And, and, her voice is just so soft and mild-mannered. I, all I can think is, you know, like, it, the, all the words coming out of her mouth are supposed to be menacing. But all I keep thinking is, all I keep hearing is, excuse me, um, I know this coupon expired like a week ago, um, but do you think that I could speak to a manager and maybe we could, you know, um, you know, because I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big customer here and I think I should get the coupon. So we come to this part where it's like a face-off between Henry and Kathleen. And this was... The moment I was hoping for. This was the moment. This was the moment. This was the Rick versus Shane. The, the 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 Negan versus Rick and his people. If it was me and I saw Henry and he steps out from behind the car, I'd have popped him immediately. You kill my brother, boom, you're dead. I don't I mean, I, I know no long talking. Me see your blood clot, I'm going to shoot your pussy hole right then and there. I'm not going to I'm not going to blood clot with it. If you kill somebody me know and I'm upset, I'm going to murder your blood clot right there. So it just turns out that ultimately she's just a throwaway character because all of the people die. Which kind of proves me right from the get-go. I always thought she was a terrible leader. Like, she got everybody, she literally got every one of her people killed. Because what we see next, instead of popping Henry and and being done with it, remember that sinkhole from the previous episode at the at the in the basement or some shit? Apparently this apparently zombies can borrow underground now. I need somebody to explain this to me. They didn't I didn't see any explanation after the credits in the you know that show that HBO has. This is not from the game. This is more something. This is more something from Gears of War. This is Marcus Phoenix, not Joel. What is going? What 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 is going on here? Zombies can borrow underground now. Where does that come from? 
no, ex- if they don't, if they don't pussy clever explain this in the next episode, I'm going to be pissed. These underground zombies. What underground? When, when did that become a thing? No, that's the locust from Gears of War. That is not PlayStation. That's Microsoft. I don't know if I don't know if Craig Mazin was playing his Xbox, but this is Sony on PlayStation. We don't have borrowing zombies. Gears of War, not Last of Us. That 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 is what I saw. But anyways, I'm done renting. And then they kind of they after that lousy sequence, they pull it back together. Our team, our our group of people, uh, our protagonists, uh, Sam, Henry, Ellie, and Joel. They're they're holed up in this place, and you know they they go to bed, and we have kind of like a touching scene between Ellie and Sam, and uh, it's like I knew it was coming, but it still hurt. It was a very emotional scene because I knew it was coming, but it's the the way the um that the actor that played Sam portrayed everything in this whole episode, and especially this part. It was it was very important that he pulled this off, and he did. I think he that, that kid is an amazing actor. I'd love to see him in more. Him and uh, and Henry as well. I think they both did a fantastic job. Now remember that all the um, scenes in the video game, even though they're digitized, are done by real people as well. So that's not to be discredited, because you know those are also amazing performances in the game. But what happens is basically um, it's revealed that Sam was bitten, and uh, in the morning, uh, actually before we get to that, Ellie tries to rub her blood into Sam's wound. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Like you don't that might make it worse because technically you're still infected. You don't, what the hell? Yeah, anyways, that's a flaw that I noticed. Anyways, I'm not going to dig too much into that, but next morning, it's revealed that Sam has, Sam, remember Sam is the younger one, turned full-on zombie. So heartbreaking because Henry, he tried, he has been trying to keep his, bless his heart, trying to keep his brother alive this whole time. This whole time he's been trying to keep his brother alive. It was his only purpose in life. And, um, he ultimately had to kill, uh, put a bullet in his zombified brother. Uh, and it was a split second decision. He had to do something and he didn't want Joel to do it. He had to do it. And um, unable to bear the thought of being the one to have to kill his brother, he turns the gun on himself and ki- and takes himself out. Yeah, uh, very, very tough, heart-wrenching scene. And then uh, it, somehow they managed to make it even more gut-wrenching because at the end... When um, uh, Joel and Ellie are burying the two, um, he Sam had this little, not a chalkboard, one of those things that you could write on. He would write on this little board to communicate to people that don't sign. And it's revealed that he wrote on there before he turned into a zombie. He wrote, I'm sorry. And uh, I think that was a brilliant addition to the game. That's not in the, to the, to the show. That's not a part of the game. I think it was just magnificent that they put that there. Um, you know, which is why I'm not completely against you know this episode because yeah it, it's just it's a stroke of brilliance you know the fact that they could turn this scene into an even more emotional journey for the watchers and people that have played the game i've played the game four or five times you know the first one but um anyways um yeah but anyways despite the fact that kathleen and um these these ridiculous um, zombies coming out from the ground, underground zombies. Um, despite those detractors, uh, I found the, the the characters, the character portrayals of Henry and Sam, I found that, that to be done to absolute perfection. I don't think they could have done that better. The actors did a, a, an amazing job. I don't think they needed to actually give Sam, he's already, okay, let's consider the disadvantages that Sam has in this zombie apocalypse. He's a kid. Some would argue he's also black. Um, he He's deaf. Now, now he's deaf and he also has leukemia. How many disadvantages are you going to give this poor kid? It was overkill. They did not need to give him all these disadvantages. Like, you, yes, we're, you, you could have given him one disadvantage of just being a kid. You didn't have to lay on le- leukemia on top of all this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why not give him one leg? <laughs> like, what, what are you trying to do here? We get it. We feel sorry for him. You don't need to add on all these layers of disadvantages. <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing? Anyways, despite all that, um, I still enjoy the episode. Um, um, I just think... Uh, I think Kathleen, for me personally, the character of Kathleen was a massive, complete and utter waste. It detracted from the episode. I'm giving this episode a 7 out of 10. Final answer. Don't add me. That's what I gave it. It's not a 10 out of 10. The Kathleen character is terrible. Anyways, that's the end of the show today. Um, I would extremely appreciate if you have not subscribed already, already, press the subscribe button, hit like, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the episode. 
I'll catch up to you guys next week when the next episode drops. I'm going to be dropping some other content on the on the channel this week. So stay tuned for that. Peace.